Hello again. In 1975, I spent some time in Canada, three weeks in Toronto and a month in Vancouver. Vancouver had a large Chinatown at that time, but apart from importing heroin, which was then smuggled across the border to the United States, they didn't seem to engage in much crime. The Chinatown was a pretty peaceful place. Toronto was at that time almost 100% white and very peaceful and law-abiding. Somebody from that city contacted me the other day to draw my attention to one of the less desirable effects of the massive wave of immigration which the Canadian government has in recent years been encouraging. It seems that white people are now in a minority in Toronto, which is quite a shocking change in a fairly short period of time. In the description to this video I give a link to a breakdown of ethnicity for the city, by which it will be seen that this city is now truly multicultural and diverse, with all the benefits and advantages which such a condition brings. Mind, it's not all vibrant new music and exotic food. In the description to this video I also give a link to the Toronto Police Department's Most Wanted Homicide Suspects. Click on that link and you will see something really weird. On the first page you will find photographs of 28 men wanted for homicide. Not one of these is white. Not one. The wanted homicides all seem to be black, Indian, with a few Arabs, Chinese and Latin Americans to leave them the lump as it were, but no ordinary white people. Does this tell us anything about the demographics of Toronto and its homicide rate? I don't know, but I thought that it might be interesting to look at what Britain's National Crime Agency, our equivalent of the FBI, has to say about this same subject. In the description to this video I give a link to the National Crime Agency's Most Wanted list. That is to say most wanted for all offences across the whole of Britain. There are 26 men on this most wanted list. Of them, 10 are white people with ordinary English names and the other, a 16, are either black, Asian or foreign. In short, more than half, say 60% of the most wanted criminals in this country, are either foreign or belong to visible minorities or in some cases both. When you consider that about 85% of people in Britain are of white British origin, this might tell you something about the nature of serious crime in this country. I dare say that viewers have already noticed this trend in their local newspapers or when the police in their city released a list of those they would most like to speak to. It's much the same when looking through national newspapers. Many of the serious crimes and about 90% of the really bizarre ones, appear to be committed by people with names that are not Dave Smith or Pete Brown. You read an account of what has happened, and immediately you guess that this is some mad foreigner. Looking at yesterday's paper, for example, the Daily Telegraph for Wednesday the 21st of September, I observed two really odd court cases on the inside page. Let me read them out for viewers. Student accused of bio-threat to kill staff. A student threatened to launch a biological weapons attack against the university, a court has heard. Somtu Chakwu Okuoha is also alleged to have claimed he had planted a bomb and was going to detonate it during a campaign of threats against staff and others at Dundee University. De, de, de issued various unsettling warnings from December 2021 to June 2022, which included threatening to commit mass murder and behead police officers. Okuoha, who has been remanded in custody, will appear in court in November. <coughs> man granted bail after Queen's Coffin incident. The man who approached the Queen's Coffin as she lay in West State in Westminster Hall was suffering delusions that led him to believe the monarch was not truly dead, a court has heard. Mohammed Khan of Wood Green, North London, was granted bail but must remain in hospital until he has recovered sufficiently to take part in proceedings. 
The court heard that at about 9.30 p.m. on September the 16th, he stepped off the carpet and grabbed hold of the standard covering the coffin. <clears throat> yes, fairly typical, I fancy. It really does sometimes seem that in addition to the music and food which we all welcome, diversity might perhaps bring with it some desirable consequences.